Hey everybody, this is Jill at Fiber Floozy Crafts. And I had somebody ask me a question about this pattern right here. If they had, if I had ever done this pattern and they wanted to know if I knew how to get it started. So I thought this would be a great pattern to show you something that um, I even learned just recently. And this is a free crochet pattern on the Lion Brand website. And they use the Lion Brand Woolies DK Cakes. And it's called the City of Lights Shawl. And here it is right here. And all it is is you have some straight rows of regular crochet stitches and then you have some eyelet rows that are in between. And they've made this to where you start at the very top and then this top piece up here folds down to be a collar. And they've made it to where you can customize this pattern however you want to in that you can use um, more eyelet rows if you want to. So they have done it in a certain way, but you can do it to where you do so many rows of the one stitch and then go into an eyelet row and so many rows and do it however you want to. So I'm gonna use this Red Heart Fair Isle in this Red Multi because this is a DK yarn. And the question that, sh that, that they had was on this, um, they, they say the exact gauge is not relevant, which means honestly, you can use any size of yarn because gauge is not an issue. So you could use a one, a two, a three, a four, or a five, whatever you wanted to use, whatever yarn you wanna play with with this, you can use it because there is no gauge per se. And also, that means that whenever you do, you will have to change your yarn hook, okay? So with this one, they're recommending you use a, an I, US I 9, or a 5.5 millimeter, okay? And they're using the Woolies DK Cakes. This is gonna, it, it, your measurement will be different if you use a different kind of yarn. Your measurement will come out to be more than a 36 by 57 if you use a larger yarn and smaller than if you use a smaller yarn. Now they say here that this shawl is worked in one piece from center of the top edge down to the lower edge. Your increases are worked to shape the shawl. The shaping will create a collar around the neck edge of the shawl. We use an easy pattern that includes eyelet rows. Make the shawl your own by working the eyelet rows wherever you like. Okay, to begin the shawl. Now this is the beginning just to get started, to get it set up. I like to refer to this as setup rows. That's not what they said in the pattern, but that's what we're gonna say here. The shawl begins with a magic loop, and they're gonna tell you right here how to do the magic loop. Now I am left-handed. So keep that in mind. I do not know how to flip this for a right-handed person, and I do not know how to do this in with my right hand. I am just not coordinated enough for that. Okay, the magic loop is as follows. Wrap the yarn around your index finger. So we're going to do this finger. Okay. Now I fumbled with this just a little bit, so I want y'all to know that and to know that it's not, it's not easy, okay? And it takes a bit of, my, my OCD wants it to be, to look perfect and that this is not going to look perfect, okay? So I'm putting it in the right hand because I'm left-handed. I'm gonna use the hook in my left hand. So this is gonna go out this way, come back underneath, and back over. So I'm just wrapping it around my finger. Then I'll hold that. So I'm still holding this over here to tension it. I'll take my hook, put it underneath that. So now it's in the circle. That yarn's gonna go over my hook and come through. Okay, now they want you to take this off the finger 
carefully and you see you have a ring there a very loose ring okay so just kind of hold it all together okay now I'm getting myself set up and it says to chain one that kind of brings it together a little bit see I still have that ring Now it says to do eight single crochets in this ring. So this is our, our little tail that stays out of our way. And this is our working yarn. So now I'm set up again like I normally would. But I kind of hold that with my fingers there. Go in, pull through, do a single, that's one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now it says, Gently but firmly pull the yarn tail to tighten the center ring. What I found when I did it a minute ago, because I did this and came back, is pull that tail back out of that middle point so that it's free out here. Okay, and then pull it. And it tightens it. So that's the start. This is the start to this shawl. 